Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of the short one. For this episode, we are going to watch my mom make the dressing for the turkey and then put it in the turkey for Thanksgiving dinner. So here we go. So first of all, we're heating up the pan. We've already gotten the turkey prepared. We've taken the giblets out and we've put them in a pan with water on it to set to boil. And we'll cook that the whole time and we'll use those the giblets for the giblet dressing later on, or the giblet gravy later on. Do not make a giblet dressing. Our recipe for dressing is a very simple one. It's one my mom used, and so that's the one I'm used to. And what we do is last night we chopped up two onions and a, stock of, a whole stock of celery. So that's all prepared. We also cubed low about three and a half loaves of white bread. The, well, the equivalent of that. And how much you make is just whatever you feel like. There's no correct proportions to this specific dressing. Some people like to put herbs in it, such as sage, make a sage dressing. My mom never liked the sage, and so we never had it that way. Our flavorings for this are essentially the celery and the onions and then the flavor that you get from the butter I'm melting real butter for the flavoring and then I'm going to saute the butter use the butter to saute the onions and the celery and then we'll put bread in it so right now we're just melting the butter and getting it warmed up so that we can saute the vegetables To the mixture so that it will be moist. You want to be careful not to get it too moist if you're being, putting it in the bird because then you end up just getting a real good glob. And to know how much that is, it just is a lot of experience and guesswork. All right, well, this is uh, how we make stuffing or dressing, depending if you put it in the bird or not. And we will uh, be back and show you the final product of all of them since we're just going to repeat the process over and over again. So we'll be back in a bit. Okay, righty, we're back. And so this is the final product, product of all that stuffing dressing creation. So here we go. Now for the turkey. So we've already taken the giblets out of the turkey, obviously, and now we're going to stuff it. Stuff it. Whoop. 
Oh, is oh. that a pretty turkey? I like to stuff the back first. And so we put it in the back. Okay, there we and go. And then we take the flap, skin flap. Well, that didn't show me what it looks like. Okay, okay, just put it in the back. All right. Take the flap of skin and put it under, and then we're gonna pick the bird up. And now we're going to stuff it. Okay. Hence the word stuffing. stuffing. You're not supposed to pack it in. You wanna make sure that when it's being cooked, that it gets cooked on the inside all the way up to 160 degrees. Let's move to the different angle again. This is a 12 pound bird. And how many people are we serving? We're, this we're serving eight serving today. And some people prefer the stuffing over the dressing. And some of us really like both. Okay, so we've stuffed it in. And then we're going to, got room it looks like to put some more in. And so we will do that. Push that in, and then we take the legs and put them in. This turkey has plastic thing that you can, it can be cooked, and that holds the legs in, and that it's stuffed. And I'm gonna have to wash my hands because I'm gonna be. Okay, so everyone, this is the turkey. Stuffed to the brim with stuffing. So it looks very yummy. So we'll be right back. Okay, bye. Let's All right, and now we are back. We are going to cover this turkey. There's lots of ways to do the turkey. Some people um, roast it and baste it, and some people even deep fat fry. I don't do that. I like to do the aluminum method because I can cook it at a higher temperature for a shorter period of time. So I have two pieces of aluminum foil put in crosswise. And we also have a little timer on our chicken turkey. So we want to make sure that that becomes stable. And when the turkey is done, we will put it in the oven to heat it up. All right, let's do this. Oven rack so that it's cooked on the lower rack. It's in there, and three and a half hours later, we'll see how it's doing. All right, thank you for watching this episode of The Short One, and we will be back when the turkey is all yummy and finished. Okay, we'll be there in a moment. Bye. Hello everyone and welcome again to the turkey. <laughs> so here we go. That's how it looks now that it's been in the oven for three hours? Three and a half. Three and a half hours. All right, well, so let's do this. Hey, okay, we're gonna take the juice out of it. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. Because we don't want it to sit in the juice. Sometimes it works with the baster and sometimes it doesn't. We'll take the juice out. We'll try it and if it doesn't work, then we go to the... And the baster's not working. So we're going to just use...
go. Now we're going to take the dressing for the turkey out of the. Yeah, well, let's get our bowl for our dressing. And let's get the dressing out. All right, let's get the good stuff. I love dressing. Love, love, love dressing. All right, here we go. Push the turkey back if we can. Like, don't burn yourself. Oh, yum. Look how yummy that looks. Oh. I could eat it up right now. I know I burned my tongue, but oh, looks so good. So good. salt so I didn't salt my dressing but it can be salted okay that's well we have salt if you ever want to put it on it so right okay so now we're just going to take the turkey out and let it rest okay this will be well, easier uh, to cut I just thought I'd make a mess this, well, this is uh, the turkey um I guess I We'll sign off now, and thank you for watching this episode of The Short One, and I hope you enjoy watching a Thanksgiving turkey creation. We'll talk to you later. Bye.